Hi, there's Ollie from Bird's Eye View, and today we're going to have a look at the intelligent battery charger, which has a touch screen, has an AC function, which is just the plug, a DC function, which is like a battery, so maybe a car battery or something. Um, it also has an automatic cutoff, so you don't drain it too far. 94% efficiency, 8 amps, uh, and 100 watts power. Uh, touch screen 3 inch with 400 by 240 pixel uh, doesn't say anything there uh, nothing really that important there it can discharge a battery at 0 0.1 amp to 3 amps um, it can yeah that, so that, that's for balancing um doesn't really say much apart from the yeah just read manual before using the charger uh here it's saying touch screen charger three inch screen i am operating system whatever that is uh, i'll take it up for a closer look It's an operating system system developed just for chargers, so I'm not sure which chargers use that operating system, but I'll be quite interested to know which chargers use that operating system. Uh, you can plug it into USB for upgrades, and it has a 32-bit processor, um, and here it says multiple languages can be used, and specific for hobby enthusiasts. Um, I think we should now cut ahead and open this thing up. So just open it up like that. Put the box away. And here we have the charger itself. Some clips to plug onto some car batteries. The European charger, but since I'm not living in a European country, I have a new cable I ordered just for it, which is here. So I'll plug straight into the back. It comes with. Um, I can't remember what that charging plug is called, but yeah, it charges that, which you can see there. And it also has a XD60 connector, which most people use. And it has a little stylus for the touchscreen, not that you probably need it, and a manual. We can put away this bit of plastic. Now we're going to have a look at the charging on our charging bench. So here's the charger itself. As you can see, here's the main charger. Here's the power input cable. Here is the XC60 charging cable. Then, as we look here, we have our balance port. We have the upgrade thing, which is if you want to update it to a new system. And you have a USB output which can charge iPads, iPhones, anything like that. Um, swing it around to have a look at the back. You can plug in, you can use a car battery to power this battery charger which is very useful. So now to have a look at the operating system and how to charge the battery. So now we're going to look at the operating system. Now you can see under the settings where it says present settings. I'm just going to use the stylus to show you. Um, currently we select the LiPo balance charge uh, three cells, which I have to change because it's a two back cell battery, and three amps charge, which I'll also have to change. And it says three amps charge, which I'll also have to change because these batteries are only meant to be charged to one amp. Along here you've got the type, so just com let's configure it for a two cell. So type LiPo cells, you can slide it or you can just tap the arrows 
mode, we want to go balance charge, current, let's do a 0 0.8 amp charge, that's usually recommended. Um, so for that, actually I might move that up to a 1 amp charge. There we go. Now you can save that, so I'm going to save that as battery option 3. Um, so now if I was just to go, let's say, change with this round, I can then just go into load, and then that, and bring all the settings back, which is really useful. Uh, if I want to do unset, you've got loads of, you've got cut off low input, which is when it gives under a certain input of the back, so if you have plugging into a car battery, it would turn off. The moment it's set at 11 volts, I may change it. Cut off temperature. This is if it gets too high, it will cut off the battery from charging. I set it at 60 degrees, which most people have recommended. Cut off capacity. Um, I'm going to leave it as it is now. I'm not quite sure what it means, but there we go. Uh, cut off time. I don't really want there to be a cut off time because I always want this battery to charge it as charge. If I'm, even if I'm charging a big battery, I don't want to just stop. So all of these are not very important. It's waste time, two minutes. So it will turn off the charger if it hasn't been used for two minutes. Um, cycle times, two times, that's just saying, yeah. Uh, backlight light, you can put it pretty low, but keeping it high is better, easier to see. Buzzer, I like to keep it on all the time. You can keep it like this, so you don't hear it when you're changing modes, or you can just turn it completely off. But I prefer to keep it on because it's not like it's going to annoy anyone. Language, just keep it English. So let's charge this battery up. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the XT60 connector. Then we're going to plug the balancing port in. Okay, now that we've got it all plugged in, we can just press start. And the battery charge will stop, start charging the battery. You probably won't be able to hear it, but a very high-pitched noise has just increased, also letting us know that it is charging. Um, so here we have our information. At the moment, the battery is on 7.82 volts, um, which is very close to its full capacity. Um, we have one amp. It's charging at one amp at the moment. Uh, it's putting six milliamps into it, uh, and it is 20 degrees. At the bottom you can see that this cell is 3.92 and this one is 3.93 volts. Here the input is 15.6 volts into the battery. Type is LiPo, mode balance, cells 2 and 1 minute and 2 seconds. If you look here you can see that this is the rate of uh, volts. So the volt has gone up slightly. Uh, you can see here that the temperature has gone up slightly. If it goes up too much, it then turns the fan on, and then the fan will make it dip down. Uh, here is how many amps it's been putting in. So it gradually increases and then sort of hovers and does that. Uh, and yeah, the milliamps is there is how many it's put in. So that will slowly increase. Let's just wait till this battery char is charged. So now that the battery is all charged up, I'm going to show you something which I didn't show you before. What you can do is you can go on mode, and we have balance, which is for balancing a LiPo battery. We have storage, is if you don't want to use it for more than two weeks, uh, it, it keeps the battery at a steady state. This one is for charging a normal type one cell battery. This is for discharging, which is you cannot do with a LiPo battery. Fast charge, which is for a one cell battery, and checker, which is what I'm going to show you. 
shows you the individual volts for each cell. It also tells you the overall volts and the average volts. Uh, this is quite useful if you just want to check the battery, if you don't have a battery checker on you. Overall, I think it is a really, really good, compact, fast, good value, easy to use battery charger. I really recommend getting this battery charger. I think it would serve you well. Thanks for watching this video.